Dermatologist Bob Bakker says the answer was staring us in the face all along. These teeth are stronger and thicker than any other meat eater. These are like uh, deeply penetrating lion fangs or bear fangs. These are in fact armor penetrating anti-tank guns. One bite from this would kill any other dinosaur, including Triceratops. Now as far as speed, T-Rex has the longest hind legs for its body size, the longest hind legs of any animal that's ever existed. It's all head and leg. It's all running and biting and nothing else. This animal, as big as an elephant, would be twice as fast. It could catch anybody. And if it could maneuver in the correct attack position, it could kill anybody with this array of armor-piercing weapons. Paleontologists have always known that Tyrannosaurus rex had a gargantuan head and mouth. But they didn't know much in detail about how it worked as the animal's major tool in gathering food. Now, scientists have the tools to ask, just how bad was T-Rex's bite? Biologist Greg Erickson thinks he knows. When not in the lab, Erickson is in the field wrangling gators. There. He has taken his two passions and fused them in a cutting-edge research program to test his theories about the bite of T-Rex. Crocodilians are the only toothed archosaurian reptiles. In other words, they're close relatives of the group that uh, dinosaurs belong to, but they're the only ones living that have teeth. So crocodilians are our best model uh, to figure out how the teeth and the, and the muscles and the jaws and all that uh, you know, worked biomechanically to allow these animals to generate bite forces. In order to determine the bite force of a living alligator, Erickson uses a tool called a bite force transducer. Basically what we do is you, you go up to a, an alligator and tap them on the snout and they'll open up. They're more than willing to bite you. <laughs> and uh, you stick this device uh, you know, on their teeth and they bite down on that and oh, yeah. uh, it, it registers the force instantly and we record that on our computers. The data Erickson collects allows him to understand how everything from the tissue to the teeth to bones and muscle of an alligator function enabling him to estimate what the actual bite force of T-Rex would have been. It's all very preliminary at this point, but I suspect that the bite forces of Tyrannosaurus rex were somewhere in the range of 20,000 pounds. Essentially cut right through you is what it would do. They wouldn't, they wouldn't actually get a grip on you as much as they just take a huge chunk out of you. The jaws of T-Rex are infamous. Their teeth are the